everybody welcome and welcome back to my channel it is your girl j ross wait i can't start this video like this it's this not a normal j ross video all right let's try this again <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to the first episode of J Talk. I am your hostess, the one and only J Ross, and this is my space. This is my channel, this is my zone. This is where I feel comfortable to talk about whatever, whenever, however. You guys are getting me. All of me, 100% me, being real, talking about subjects other than makeup. It could be relationship, it could be life advice, it could be school or career or anything like that. It's just gonna be where you guys can feel like you guys can talk to me and I can talk to y'all. So that's what I want to introduce. So welcome to J Talk. So I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me some questions about whatever, didn't have to be about makeup specific. One of my videos that I was gonna do, I was gonna do the 21 questions makeup version, but I decided to turn it into a series and just make this whole J talk a thing. First question is, how do you approach your makeup when you have a limited time to get it done? Keeping it pretty simple, um, before I got introduced to the Fenty Skin Tint Ease Drop Skin Tint, I really would just do a concealer that was exactly my skin tone. Spot conceal and cover up my dark circles and like that. And then I'll just apply just a little bit of powder on top of it just to set it. Give it a nice misting spray, whether it be my skincare facial mist or whether it be like the Morphe Continue Setting Mist, but something like that. Something fairly easy. Even for my eyeshadow, I'll take a powder um, a foundation powder that I do have that's like darker than normal, which I usually use if a foundation is too light. So I'll usually just take that powder on a, like a little blending brush and literally just darken my outer V. Oh, and I run my Anastasia like dip brow or brow gel, whatever it is, like over my brows a little bit. My question is the hardest. What's the hardest part about balancing your content with your work life? I really admire your hustle. You, Malco. How do I balance it? My content with my work life. It's really hard for those of you who do not know, I have multiple jobs. Uh, <laughs> I work a lot. I, I work a lot, but at the same time, I try to keep the content going as well. Um, I try to keep a schedule. I have a calendar. I'm constantly have my like notepad on my phone or my notepad, like an actual notepad that I can write stuff down. Ideas that come to my head, I'm usually just constantly writing them down or thinking of them. And if I think of them, I usually try to gather the products that I'm thinking about. Like if I'm thinking of a creative eye look, I'll gather the palettes that I need or whatever that I need and put it together somewhere on my like makeup area. So I know next time I sit down, oh, do the look that you were planning to do. Now editing, like I can get the looks recorded. Sometimes editing is a little bit harder. Um, for one of my jobs, I do work from home. So it helps that like, if I can kind of multitask, I'm kind of like working, 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 working. As soon as I get like a little bit of a break, I'm kind of like editing and then I'm working, working, working and then editing. So hence why it hasn't been as many YouTube videos. It's kind of been like stuff that I could do on Instagram because Instagram, like the reels are kind of quicker. Um, but I still want to, but I'm still recording a full look. So it's like, why not still edit a full look or something like that for YouTube? Uh, this question is, a tough one. Did you always love your height? Um, for those of you who do not know, my Instagram name is love my height. I did not love my height all the time. I am at 6'1", 6'2", and when I wear heels, I'm either 6'5", or 6'6", <laughs> depending on what heel I wanna wear, maybe 6'7", sometimes, you just never know. Um, growing up, I did not always love my height. I really didn't. Um, I was still the shortest out of, out of my siblings because I have two extremely tall brothers. But um, I didn't always love my height because most people think like, as a tall one, as the biggest one in the class, you should be the one bullying people. I was bullied a lot in school. And it was always because of my height. It was always because of my, oh, you're tall, you can't fit in the desk. Or, oh my gosh, you're so tall that your pants don't fit. You got high waters on which now is a fashion, it's like angle pants or whatever. And I'm like, man, these were high waters literally my whole childhood growing up. It took me a while to love my height. Like seriously, that's why I made my Instagram that way. Like I wanted to 
love my height myself and then I want other people to love my height. Let me be great. Yes, I know I'm tall. Trust me, I know. My legs are like four and a half feet by themselves. I know I'm tall. Yes, I did play sports. Did I play basketball? Yes, I did. Did I like basketball? No, I did not like to play it. But I got tired of coaches asking me, would you play for my team? So I just played it. Um, but I also ran track, played football, and played volleyball too. So, multi-sport athlete in the streets. But I didn't always love my height. And sometimes in the dating life, I kind of hate my height again because I'm like, the tall guys that you think would be attracted to a tall girl are usually attracted to people who are like five, six and under. It's like, you about six, five, six, 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 seven. Why do you want somebody extremely tall? Like extremely short, it's not fair. So yeah, simple answer to did I love my height? No, no I didn't. Man, that made me think of my childhood of like just getting bullied so much. And I was also super skinny growing up too. Like I was super, super skinny. But it was cause I was like always athletic too at the same time, but I was super, super skinny. So it was like tall and skinny. Okay, like it was always something I was always getting picked on, but challenge me in a race, you're not gonna catch me. <laughs> like it challenged me in a race, you're not gonna catch me. Try to play me in volleyball. You're not going to outspike me. You're not going to do anything over me, period. <laughs> Being that friend to reach over the top shelf, I got you. But yeah. <laughs> so I had to make a joke out of it because I'm like, I'm not trying to get emotional, but if I get emotional, I'm not trying to get emotional. So I'm pretty sure this question kind of repeats itself multiple times. I think I did see this question multiple times, but this is the first time I'm gonna answer this. When did you start loving makeup? 2015. <laughs> like seriously, I will, no. Um, maybe 20, 2011, 2012-ish is when I started to like really, well, in 20, well, 2011, 2012, I was a like sports broadcaster for like our local college TV station. So it was kind of like, oh, well, I know they're gonna do the TV makeup, so I have to get used to it. So that's when I started, really started into makeup, but then my love, my love, my love came in like 2015 when I started my YouTube channel. And yeah, it's been a problem ever since because I spend way too much on makeup. <laughs> way, way too much on makeup. And yet I spend way too much on makeup, but I still have things I still want to buy. No buy April needs to hair up and end. <laughs> What kind of job do you do? All right, so <laughs> my main job and what I went to school for was broadcasting, TV and radio. So I work in media, I work in broadcasting, but I'm an editor. I know a train ain't about to come through and ruin my video. Um, I work in sports media, sports broadcasting. So I'm, an act I'm actually an editor, a highlight editor, a news editor, whatever you want to call it, a video, digital content, social media, whatever, editor for a network. And then my other jobs are in like retail. <laughs> I love to do, I'm, I'm a very customer service-y type person, even though sometimes it seems like I have a resting bee face and I don't want to be bothered. I actually am a very good customer service person. So I like to work in retail. I know it's crazy. And then I also work in makeup as well. So I, I'm multitasking out here. I'm staying in these streets. I'm keeping my name in people's mouths for a good reason. Hopefully, hopefully nobody's talking trash about me. They can square up. Would you want to do makeup full time? two hours later i want to say no because if it's for youtube sometimes i shut down like mentally and just want to take a break even though i have so many ideas of creative ideas that i want to do it's like sometimes i just don't have the motivation and the the drive to fully do like to do it like that day or that time or that week so I feel like being full-time in makeup, like I would have obligations to like sponsorships and all that to meet. And if I didn't, then I would be like, oh, like I didn't meet him, like I'm gonna lose money. And I feel like that's so much pressure on me, but to do it like as a hobby is kind of better because I can post whenever I want to. Mind you, I still want my viewers and subscribers and all that to grow, but 
I can still post when I want to and when I feel good about what I'm posting. I don't have to force it out or anything like that. What's the best advice I've received and cherished? I feel like there's so many times I'm the one giving advice and I kind of speak to myself sometimes when I do that, but advice that I've received from somebody else. Don't let anyone control your happiness. That is constantly something I get told a lot because I overthink a lot. One person could come into my life and they could do something. And I would seriously be on my, like it could be something good or bad. It doesn't even matter. It would literally be on my head like the whole time. Like, I wonder how like they're doing. I wonder, and then I would get sad just thinking about, did I do everything I was supposed to do to make them happy? Did I give my all to, you know, try to please them in a way. Like, I feel like I'm a people pleaser. I feel like my, like, my energy is taken out of me if I don't bring somebody else happiness. Hard to describe what I'm trying to say, but I basically, I can't let anybody else be the reason why I'm happy. I have to be my own happiness and be my own light. What's your favorite food to eat and your favorite restaurant to go to? My favorite food to eat is probably potatoes, um, chips, fries, scalloped, mashed, baked i love potatoes I, I love fries are my absolute favorite thing to like snack on and then chips are like right there but like my favorite like overall like ethnicity group favorite food is italian i love italian um i love to cook italian i'm not italian whatsoever but i do love to cook italian dishes and stuff you know i cook a little bit mind your business when i cook but i can cook something i can't think of like one restaurant like legit sit down and eat restaurant that i would say is my favorite what's my biggest challenge as a makeup artist i've kind of answered this but to sum it up real short and sweet making the time and having the mentality to get up and go create even after a long day of work um or long day of works like multiple jobs how old are you i am 29 um according to my birth certificate but i am 21 according to me and i will be 21 as long as i can <laughs> oh man if you had to choose only one brand to use for the rest of your life what would it be i know i had to Thanks, Una. One brand to use for the rest of my life. I'm guessing it's makeup brand. Can can I cheat and do three? Can I do three? My first answer is gonna be Juvia's Place. The reason why is because Juvia's Place has a wide variety of products that I use. Blushes, highlighters, palettes, contour sticks, all of that stuff. Um, their foundation, I'm hit or miss about if it's like the liquid foundation, but I can use this foundation stick all day, every day. Now, if I want to say, say high-end brand and cheat and say high-end brand, um, I know you guys are probably like, duh, Fenty. Here's why I can't say Fenty. Because, now don't get me wrong, Riri be slammed, but she still hasn't come out with an eyeshadow palette that's like making me, oh my gosh, I have to buy this right now. I can't say Pat McGrath because I would be broke constantly. I don't work with Urban Decay that much. You know, I've already answered. I ain't got to answer this high-end version. Like, I, I will set myself up for failure. I'm just going to leave it there, okay? I said what I said, <laughs> and it's true. It's like, what is your dream vacation? A month in France. I don't think there's anything else I need to say behind that. Am I single? Yes. Yes, I am. I'm just... I'm even gonna try to avoid that. <laughs> yes, I am single. What is your favorite eyeshadow palette right now? It is the palette that I actually did this look with today. And it is a palette that I've done multiple looks with recently. And you guys have really been loving it. And that is the Glam Light Paint Pro Palette. Need I say more? Which celeb or influencer would you love to work with? I don't think this is a hard question. If you know me, and if you've been watching my channel for at least this, <laughs> you could just start for 2020 and 2021 alone and you know this. Um, an influencer, I'll break it up in two. So an influencer that I would love to work with, Makeup by Tammy. But as far as celeb, Rihanna, Fenty. That, 
that's kind of the celeb brand I would want to work with. That's it. How does your family feel about you doing YouTube? My family loves it. They really do. And I appreciate them for being my true supporters and being the ones to kind of help my channel grow. It literally started out as them teaching me and then now they want me to teach them. And it's been a, an awesome journey. My family's really awesome, even though they love to come and invade my room, my makeup collection. I be seeing y'all. I be, I be keeping track of what y'all be taking. This is the person that really knows me to ask me this question for sure. If you could be any Marvel superhero, which would you choose and why? I see you. This is this is coming from my girl Gabby. Gabby, thank you. I love you. I miss you so much. I'm a huge Marvel nerdy girl. Um, hence why I have palettes and brushes that are Marvel themed. <laughs> um, so to be a Marvel superhero, I absolutely love Wolverine and I feel like me and Wolverine relate on so many levels because we are caring and sweet at heart, but at the same time, we don't like anybody. <laughs> like, like I am such a people person and like, at the same time, leave me alone. What are your top makeup brands that you wanna try? Okay, that's one. Do you have a boyfriend? That's two. And does color matter? That's three. But it's kind of like 2A and 2B. So the first part is what are my top makeup brands that I wanna try? I'm very intrigued into like indie brands. I don't know why, like, high end i feel like they're exhausting themselves and they're kind of just like repeating themselves because they don't know what else to do but any brands are literally selling it like they're doing things and i'm just like i love it so there's some indie brands definitely some indie brands i want to try and then part 2a is do you have a boyfriend no but i am looking so if you know what i'm and then the second part is does color matter to you no. So this is kind of a question that I kind of get backlash about because it makes it seem like I'm hating. And look, I'm being real. This is what J Talk is about. I personally only have a dating preference of white guys. That's just what I prefer. I don't want to start no beef in the comments, so let's not do that. Like, this is just my personal preference. Not saying there aren't men that attract me from my own race or other races. I've just really been into white guys since like elementary or whatever. My Caucasian persuasion, jungle fever, ebony and ivory, whatever you want to call it. That's what I'm into. Interracial. I love it. I love the interracial dating culture. And those who hate on interracial data daters can kiss the right and left cheek of my bottom part that I'm sitting on right now. What's your favorite places to visit? Favorite places to visit Mall of America and Pittsburgh. And then of course my favorite place that I have not been that I want to visit is Paris. Which celebs would you love to have come out with the makeup line? This is a good question because a lot of people are like, oh, every celebrity is coming out with a makeup line or a skincare line or this or that, yada, yada, yada. And then it's like, some of them, I'm like, yeah, I totally see it because you're a fashion icon. Like, you're a beauty icon. You're this, you're that. Like, it fits for certain people. Other people, it's kind of like, why are you here in the industry? This is why people feel saturated because you just came out of nowhere for no reason with nothing. But I know this may sound weird because I feel like she's been under the radar for a minute. But I would have loved to see Pink come out with a makeup brand. I think she would have been super legit. Would you ever do a series where you do inspired looks based off of different prompts? Who decided that themes was no longer a word? So they were just like, let's say prompts now. But would I do it? Yeah, of course, I would. And they asked me to do a certain look. So you guys will see a prompted video coming up soon. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. Those will be added to some request videos coming up soon. So stay on the lookout for those. If you guys wanna give me a prompt, sure. Shoot those down below too. I'm all here for it. Second of all, you know I'm vacillating here. Trying Thank you guys so much for all your questions and everything like that. I'm really excited for this series. I'm hoping that you guys will be excited too. I hope you guys really did enjoy getting to know me. Welcome to me. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Once again, I'm your hostess, Jay Ross and you have finally watched the first episode of J Talk. So please leave your suggestions for 
next videos or next episodes. I hope you guys are staying safe, happy, healthy, and blessed. And I will always catch you guys, hopefully, in my next one. Peace.